Hello guys, Tori here. We're gonna be doing Chiori's story quest. The Ch Chiori story, if you will. I'm not pulling for her, so I wanna do this story quest as soon as possible, just to kind of get that like FOMO feeling out of the way. Like, oh, I'm not pulling for her, but I'll get to hang out with her for a little bit, you know? And I wanna see what her deal is. I really liked her demo, I like her attitude, I liked her, um, her trailer. I just wanna see what the cool girl's like, even if I can't personally pull for her on my account. Because I'm simping for Arlequino. Anyways, y'all hear something? Shuri is cool. I like her. Skyward, her. It's just she has bad timing. And she's not that versatile. Like, if you already have... Oh, it's over there. Skyward. You already have a beta. Like, what's the point? She got you a Mia treatment. Also, look, guys. I made my own is popcorn. My mom made it. Okay? But I told you I could do it using the leftover funds from the original deposit. Don't tell me you're yeah. afraid that I cheaped out on the dress. No, not at all. I have only the fullest faith in your work, Miss Chiori. I'm just in shock, that's all. It's always been my dream to wear a Chioria boutique dress for my wedding. I really thought the chance had passed me by. Wait. Sorry if I'll hear me chewing, by the way. She's actually at her shop today? Wasn't it just Fashion Week in Paris as well, like, recently? Oh, so that's funny. The timing on this is very cute. Well, once she's done with her customer, we can go and ask her. I'm a woman of my word. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business okay, is queen. to always keep your promises. One popcorn? Now, Here you go, remember Maya. to not fold the gown or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out on the day of the wedding. From the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. I have to say, I do love her design. She's so pretty. I didn't like her at first. I thought she looked kind of stupid. I don't know if you all remember. When I did that event she was in, I wasn't impressed. But now I really like her. I like her hair especially. It is mine after all. Only Mondstadt. you're looking for today? A custom design or perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids? For kids is crazy, drag her. But unrelated, Darcy, you can probably you have a better chance of getting Kave when they do a Sumeru themed one. So you might want to save some wishes for that. Just a thought. Hey, Paimon's not a kid. Well. Oh. That. Well, if news of the event has reached your ears. I suppose the Fontaine Apparel Association's advertising efforts have paid off. Are there any fun and popular- I didn't like the implication that I have no drip. She's right, but it still hurts. Ugh, fashion week. She said, oh, if play. you know about it, fun. everybody knows. But like, that's crazy. it certainly always attracts a crowd. It's a fashion extravaganza we can get that only takes place yeah. once a year, after all. Will you be showing off some of your designs, too? Yes, ma'am. Oh, she better. Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. If you're lucky, you could even land a large amount of orders as soon as the main show ends. Come to think of it, it was also at a previous fashion week that our label first took off. I wish they brought- hmm. I know. You're pretty much an established name now? People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? This would have been such a good opportunity for Hoyoverse to introduce traveler skins. Like, oh my god. She already made us an outfit. We have a fashion designer friend. She's going to make us a Fontaine outfit. She's going to make us an Inazuma outfit. Like, literally right here. Traveler skins. Everyone would buy them. I know so many people who would spend so much money on traveler skins, even though they don't even use the traveler. I don't use the traveler. And if, Lum if you told me Lumine had a dress, I'd buy it in a second. Are you kidding? Damn. Just saying. Yeah, that's not quite how it works. While many people buy clothes for fit and style, the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Do you think maybe they don't want to do it because they don't want to have to animate different um, traveler things in like cutscenes? Like if you think about it, because your traveler is always in the cutscenes and all the quests. Maybe that's it. Why would anyone hmm. patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? Hi, hey, Vice. How are you? In the end. Fashion is just a representation of the spirit of the times. People support you know your brand because they support the vision it represents. 
feel like I'm watching a movie. <laughs> okay, so maybe fashion. Treating more Netflix like a man. Or Netflix. Uh, all that complicated stuff aside, you're saying we'll be able to see new Chioria designs at the I'm show? Treating Genshin like Absolutely. Netflix. Like the a telenovela. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the fabrics hey, to Hey, what's up? Ooh, are you using materials you can't get in Fontaine? Well, I still have a certain partiality to Inazuma made fabrics. The textures are pleasant to the touch, and their familiarity gives me Girl, I saw my own mouse on her forehead and I said, Does she have a gem on? That's my bad. Something like that. Yes. We're a long way from Inazuma, though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get lost or stolen along the way? Oh, is this where Kirara gets brought in? No need to worry. I've already taken steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. I've entrusted the job to Komani Express's most reliable courier. Kirara! <gasps> Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Here she comes. Kirari, your, your shipment's here. I know it's quite late, so I'm... Oh, really? I forgot how cute she is. Sorry. Guys, when I say I want dye my hair blonde, this is the blonde I mean. This is it. about oh hey traveler in paimon fancy seeing you here in fontaine it's been a while oh my god are we gonna play her <laughs> uh, oh never mind next time uh, considering how late this delivery is i'm not sure this is the time to play cards plus i know this shipment is really important to chiori so i should probably make sure everything's in order wait a second this is the second time that you've seen me flub a delivery job now, isn't is it? Is it? When was the first? Oh, Do you guys remember? Because I actually don't. Game, huh? So, what was the holdup? Sailing delays, bad weather? Huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. Look at her little tails. Fun. Or <laughs> treasure <laughs> hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> a few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you oh, She's trouble. so unimpressed. Uh, I love that. Well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. Keeping you honest as always, I see. Oh my god, what do they like move when she lies like Pinocchio's uh, nose? Is that her tail's wiggle? Alright, alright. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comunia Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails so it was a targeted hit uh i got the sense that they were actually targeting chiori's goods i forgot fabric to make... put the music on but that's yeah, fine we'll do it in a second go as long as i left the goods with them otherwise they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown oh oh so pleasant oh, are you okay Kira? Well, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I turned them over to the guards. It just took me a while to round them all up. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Uh, Jordan, her weapon is like, I think it's like minimally better. Like, it's so not worth it. Like, it's not even funny how not worth it it is. Like, I was th considering pulling as well, but uh, it's not. It's just not worth it. Not worth the risk. Uh huh? Um. Well. <sighs> Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Uh oh, she's done for. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk. <clears throat> so. I kind of wanted to know why anyone would order a hit on me, so I spent a bit of time investigating. One of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept... Oh my god, does she have like a fashion story? nemesis? Like a rival? Who like a different designer? Be? Uh, Chiori, why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, and you've still got fashion week to worry about... I appreciate your kindness, Kirara, but if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. Queen! No one that dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to and then some. All right. 
She's getting ready to the fight. Said that the commissioner was someone by the name of Uter. Uter. No, that name rings a bell. Wouldn't you say, Kirara? Does well, it? That's exactly why I didn't want to bring it up to you. Do we know who that is? So you both know this. Uter? Oh, okay. We don't know, but oh. through Chiori's complaints about him, sure. He's a fellow fashion designer who's made it his goal in life to make hers as miserable as possible. Typical oh, man. I'm so kidding. he's like a big joking. Rival. A rival is what you call someone who fights you fair and square. Uter, however, just has it out for me as a designer. He's publicly disparaged my design choices, my use of materials. <laughs> he's practically tried everything. That sounds like a lame. To my good name. I've already worn Ooh, shower view, yeah, I got you. with me fair and square, but I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. So Wait, I'm gonna stop Chiri, the music. Where are you going? And then I'll put to on the uh, Fontaine music. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Uh oh. Chiori! Wait! And she's gone. Oh no. What should we do? You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? I feel like we should be worried about this uh, other guy instead if I'm being honest. She's the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I'm just worried whatever she's about to do will feel negative publicity about her right before the start of fashion week. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? As a formal employee of Comania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. Why don't we just put a head out for this guy, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take good care of Chiori. Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I'm more worried about that Uter guy. That's what I'm here. saying. I'm worried about him. When they talk about tonight. Uh-oh. I'm worried, y'all. <gasps> Shepherds, hey girl. Any chance you're on the clock, officer? I still wish I got more cons for her. <sighs> Nothing I only got one. ever comes out of you addressing me like that. <laughs> oh, and I see the traveler and Pime Honor here too. Hey y'all, uh, we're here for the drama. Shepherds, we meet again. Oh, this one's about what? Is listen to this, y'all. That was crazy. Anyway, sorry. Well, things have been fine on my end. We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. Oh, I remember that? That was so fun. Now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Well, she's Not a movie star now, an actress, if you will. Well, you were one of the leading roles after all. So, did something happen? Indeed it did. I'll need you to come with me. <laughs> I only ever hear that phrase from you. That was Usually, so funny. I'm the one asking people to do that. <laughs> when you and me got shot, it was crazy. Are you coming? <laughs> that was a funny quest. I liked it. Not before I know what you're planning. Have I ever made a bad call? Oh. The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? <sighs> okay. Right, she got you there, girl. A man hired a group of bandits to mug my friend. I'm about to go teach him a lesson. She's confessing to Are a crime, sure by the way. This is something you should be Premeditated. Captain of the special patrol. <laughs> It's getting hard to tell whether you're here to report a case or turn yourself in for one. <laughs> Neither. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain, so I don't do anything too out of line. Oh, are you planning responsible? To? Not if I can help it. <sighs> All right. Where is this person? Follow me. She's insane. I love her. She literally, she went and got the police chief and she said, you come with me so I don't kill this guy. Just promise you'll start trying to keep yourself out of trouble. Well, when trouble stops coming my way, I'll be sure to get on that. Sorry. I want to pick up some groceries. <laughs> right, is this this guy's house? This should be the place. You all wait here. I'll go have a chat with him. We're about to hear boom, yes, crash, yes. screaming. I like that you two are actually pretty close. It's just as Chiori said. We got to know each other pretty well in our lines of work. You could call it a you scratch my back. Shepherd's eyes are very pretty. I never noticed that until now. Does they have like a nice pink hue. Oh my god, it's the overload color. Uh, I 
I'd say it's mutual. The Special Patrol needs her help quite often as well. We've got tough problems of our own. Getting people to talk, for example. The uniform, the musket, they're intimidating. Most people clam up the minute they see us. Lips sealed so tight, getting them to talk almost feels like trying to break into the fortress of Maripede. But put them in a cloak. Oh, eye, my bad. They suddenly start gushing Her eye is pretty, my bad. The Fountain of Lucene. Oh, is it because they're trying to show off or something? Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives or show off how much they know about other people. And nothing brings out that sort of vanity quite like fashion. As a result, Shiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Most of her customers are members of the upper class. <gasps> Chewie's a snitch? Pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Huh, Paimon gets it now. How's the quest exactly. so far? Lynette's I'm little hangout is cute. Chiori's safety. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. Excuse me. In some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. <laughs> like right now? <sighs> so Doesn't seem like it's that rare. I got on her case this time. It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. Oh, so this is what happened. Huh? Uter, you say? You've heard of him? Yep. He's made trouble for Chiori several times already. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. So we That's back Rinsley, him, right? Huh? His funeral, I guess. Whoa, I've never had Wingstop. Is it good? Ugh, ow. I just meant that Uter's done for. Now bring it in, you two. Get right up close. Uh-oh. Uh, sure, but why? Because this is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked fight, about. Fight, 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 fight! Oh. I told y'all. <laughs> Get him! Drag him through the streets! Shame! Throw tomatoes. Whoa! Oh. What are you doing? Stay away from me! Has anyone ever taught you oh. the definition of stupidity? Huh? Tori Noemi. Stupidity is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. Streaming on twitch.tv slash Tori Noemi. what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh. And if you dare lay your hands on my friend again, you can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Ahem, <clears throat> Chiori? I'm about to go punch Kirara in the face just officer, so she grabs me like that. Assault's in progress! Please, officer, you've got to do something! Of course. I'll do my utmost to the situation. I'm kidding! Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. <laughs> Not to worry, though. If you'd allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate. Oh my you goodness, in they're in cahoots. Activity, I would hope. I God, forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Ms. Chiori, oh. I must also ask you to High and Lisa Chronicled is pretty cool. Disorderly conduct in the future, especially out in the open like this. <sighs> yeah, she said, do it behind closed doors. Oh, sir. I guess you could say I'm just used to tossing out any trash I come across on the street. <laughs> you. Is there anything else? Fight some more. Have to say for yourselves. Oh, they're both getting That's scolded now. I sincerely hope that today's events will never happen again. We'll see about that. What? What kind of threat? She just threw your ass to the curb, and he's like, "I'll get you next time." Oh, that He's definitely like a masochist, Loki. Flying out like that. You're too kind. <laughs> Now's not the time to be accepting compliments. What happened to not doing anything too out of line? She didn't hurt him that bad. He's fine. He's grown. Not if I could help it, is what I said. And I think I kept to that. I started with a verbal warning, but he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything, 
He kept running his mouth with insults and threats. So he was asking for it. Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a sack of trash? Well, Believe yes. Us, <laughs> they were that bad. He deserved to get knocked down a peg. It's the only way to get him to stop. You could have reported him to the guards. Oh, I will. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that he ever had anything to do with those bandits. I don't want anything else to happen during Fontaine Fashion Week. On top of that, if Kirara is going to continue delivering goods for me, the least I can do is guarantee her safety. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. There is another favor I'd like to ask of you today. Someone else she wants to go beat up? shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Have I? Well, it's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota then. <laughs> Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? I always pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. She said that well. Didn't didn't she say that well? Didn't she didn't didn't Chevru say that when we were outside? Or when Shuri was inside? Like, was she within earshot when Chevru said that? Is that what they call a continuity error or something like that? Gotcha, ho yo. Or maybe I'm being stupid. Hey, girl. I like the way they sit, so <laughs> cute. You were gone for an awfully long time. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that you'll never a hint? Have to worry about oh, true. Fontaine messing with your delivery. She does got some big ears. No, I'm kidding. Uh, sorry, Chiori. I didn't mean to. Why cause is she apologizing? Trouble. She didn't cause any trouble at all. What are you talking about? You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are blame, along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay off the petty tricks. The next time you need to leave the city, call the special security and surveillance patrol. They'll escort you half of the way. And the Spina di Rusula can take the second half. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course. These two girls are dressed them down. Them. Wait, hello. <laughs> Fashion icons. Uh, good one, Chiori. I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back <laughs> to Inazuma tomorrow, right? I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Is it true that New York invented buffalo wings? No, I did. Oh, okay. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why that's like tickling me right now. Oh my god. And then um, and then Amanda with just like 15 question marks. It's just like, that's me. Um, I think, yeah, I think Buffalo, New York is where they created buffalo sauce. I think, I don't know if that's true. So they didn't invent like the wings, but I think maybe they invented the sauce. I, I would look that up, but I, I that sounds familiar. I don't know. Don't remember. Wait, you don't mean? I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. As discussed, the patrol is going to take a small detour. Oh, is that the advance you're taking? Cool. As for Navia, I'll give her a heads up in a bit. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. Or ones with sunglasses, for that matter. Don't you think this is a bit much? Well, you certainly shouldn't count on such a procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. It's just a one-off thing. For my own peace of mind. It'll also show those guys what'll happen to those who dare to mess with my friends. Yeah, just think of it as a... You got yes. me, I got you. Well put. Well, if you think it's a good idea, Traveler, then... I guess it's fine. Darcy, don't threaten well, to lick someone's cane sauce on the floor the of their home. Delivered. That's a threat, by the way. should be good to go for Fontaine Fashion Week, right? I believe so. I'll try to churn out a few more outfits over the next few days. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Paimon's gonna take a guess and say if suppliers are super important. But of course. They supply us designers with funding, equipment, factory access. You have to work with them if you want to become a truly renowned fashion. This is low key making me want to pull for her. Like, I love, you know how I love some girl bosses. Like, this is messed up. But isn't your brand already really famous, Jewelry? Your clothes are so pretty and so nice to wear. I can't help but brag about them to my customers whenever I get the chance. Aw. Even so, 
I would imagine there are still people who've never heard of the Chioria brand, yes? Well... I mean, with the amount of places that I deliver to, it's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Then it's still not famous enough. My goal is to make the Chioria okay. brand renowned An icon. Up to that. All of it? Your business would have to get pretty huge then. Wait, would that mean I could just go to any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them packed So she's out. from Inazuma, but based in Fontaine. of course. You could just mm. be a bit more careful with them. They're already about as durable as I can make them. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often. But I can't help it. It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. Ew, I forgot she has cat feet. Then we should do our best reality. I forgot. I'm sure I could think of something. Oh, what is it? What is it? Why don't you come to my shop tomorrow and model for me? Oh, okay. Simply put, you'll serve as my living mannequin. I'll serve? I you know I will serve, okay? Seeing them off the rack will also give me the chance to make some small adjustments to the stitching and the silhouette of the designs. Sounds easy enough. Okay, yeah, can we eat, keep eat? Can we eat the outfits? Okay. Keep. Most of the clothes you see during Fashion Week are meant to showcase the designer's vision. They're not exactly suitable for ready-to-wear use. If you like them, though, feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye. I'll even give you a special discount. Hey. Ooh. Friends and family. Fifteen percent at least. Stuff. Then we have a deal. You'll model some formal wear, traveler, and I don't know. Paimon here will show off some kids' designs. Not I'll kids' design. Yep, sounds good. Wait, kids' clothes? Paimon told you already. She's not a little kid. Cute. Hey girl. Good morning. Uh, you're here early. Oh. I haven't even opened the shop yet. Did not. Wait, has Kiwara left already? Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. I'm gonna say something. After Paimon talks, the pause is always longer than for every other character. I'm being so serious. I really am convinced of that. I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward See, I feel like the, the center, <laughs> yo. I think she was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Sheena was <laughs> a pretty large group. Led by Navia herself. <sighs> they took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kirara won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. Beautiful. <laughs> Navia is so funny. Also, I was going to say something. During the... Uh... Her demo. This was the thing that fell off of Navia's hat. Um, that was the thing Chiori picked off, she picked up at the end, and I didn't know that. I thought it looked like a vision. I didn't realize what it was. But then people were like, "Oh, it's the thing from Navia's hat." And then I was thinking, "Oh, because that's why she went, because no one saw it. So maybe she didn't want people to see that her stuff fell off." I don't know what it was, but I thought that was um of cute little detail. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going away That's gift true, they give me time to get An pissed off about Fontaine. An souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. Sounds like Navia Ow. really got into it. My thoughts exactly. Popcorn abuse, bro. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time to prepare something even fancier. I'm pretty sure she can't wait for another escort opportunity to come her way. <laughs> Navia is so cute. Now that you mention Navia, Paimon thinks the two of you are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. I suppose that's why we're such good friends. Navia has a certain resilience. Besties. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down in the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. Do you think that like... spirit is the true vision of my brand. Hold on. When she first mentioned commissioning an outfit for my boutique, well... I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. Do you think um 
This is about to be stupid. Do you think that like people with the same vision types like bond over it? Like almost like when you find out someone likes the same sports team as you? Like, hey, G or like when they have the same star sign as you or something like that. Do you think it's something like silly like that? I'm being serious. Like, you think they got loyalty? Or like they treat it like a bias? Like, oh my god, you're a Morax bias? No way. Like, me too. Because like they have Geo. I wonder. I'm serious. These are the questions they don't want you to ask. So you know what? Yeah. Think think about that next time. Anyways. <laughs> Tori shut up challenge failed Indeed. always. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. Huh. And here Paimon thought all that mattered was for the clothes to look cute. Fashion is about more than just looks, my dear. Especially if you've got your sights set on a market the size of that. Hmm. Well, would you look at the time? Fashion show, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that dress, cute. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. I'm excited. Why don't you help me set up the shop displays in the meantime? <gasps> Ooh. Set them up. I get to pick. Uh, I'm so excited. Exactly. Just carefully organize the ready to wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the customers will see something different every day. Whoa, there sure is a lot that goes into running a store. Well then, the Paimon pause. Like, what's going on? I'm gonna be so good at this. So, uh, we just need to put all the clothes with similar styles together, right? Oh. I thought this was gonna be more exciting. I like that dress though, right there. The yellow one. Someone make this for me. Hello? Where's Jory? Oh, my bad. I got lost. I got lost. Not bad. You might just have an eye for design. What a bangs! Anyway, oh. let's move on to the real task at hand. Over here, stand still. I'll take your measurements first. Maybe I should stop eating. She's taking my measurements right now. Um, excuse me, Miss Chiori. Oh, good morning, Lean. Man. How have you been oh. recently? Sorry. <laughs> uh, not too bad. Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, no. Nothing like that, Miss Chiori. To be honest... What? I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. Uh... <laughs> Cancel your order. Uh, but you can keep the deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. Don't worry about the materials. I'm more concerned about you. Did something happen, Leanne? Have your plans changed? Um... This is suspect. The other guy's doing right. something. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'll take note of the cancellation. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Is it just Paimon, or was she acting a bit strange just now? I wonder why she the guy has a hit out for her, I'm telling y'all. It's not a big deal. These things happen every once in a while. A family emergency, an important payday falling through, a lover's quarrel... No one to take you to the ball. I've pretty much heard it all. Judging from the look on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Well, guess this means you'll have more time to work on Fashion Week, right? That's true. I guess so, yeah. Come, let's pick up where we left off. Is Miss Chiori in? Are you blind? I am. I mean, How damn, I'm you? sorry. No. <laughs> Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh, could I ask why? It's just dumb, um, not to my liking. <laughs> you said Sorry. I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. 
Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short? Or so do we think he's paying that? people to tell it like her that her stuff is bad or what? For you. what? What are we thinking? No, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Fiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. What is happening? Is he paying them or did he like put a heat hit piece out? Is there some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, maybe? What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes. Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and take this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? Yo, she said, did the new prophecy say you'd be spared if you get rid of all your clothes? She is so funny. That's crazy. Not the fatal prophecy that was literally not that long ago, the threat to kill the entire population of Fontaine. She said, oh, is that coming back? That's that's crazy oh my god this poor guy bro that's nuts also austin good night thanks for hanging out i appreciate you yeah what's up what's up kind of rags you trying to sell us huh the way i see it this shop is nothing more than what criminals dirty criminals what is going on Sir. A loaf? A elephy? Oh, uh, what is he talking about? Ow. His popcorn Haven't is. you heard? Shioria Boutique has been exposed for having close ties with criminals. What? It's all over the papers. And just who is it that gonna... dares to throw that accusation around? Well, somebody call Charlotte. Us? The fabrics you've got here, they're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? I've been transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough Thank to you. convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. <laughs> or have you not been convinced of that one just yet? You... <laughs> Spare yourself from that flood. She's so crazy. Savage. Yuri, go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, all right. And once you're done, put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. Don't. Oh, I would drag him by his mullet. Who? They couldn't be more fabricated if you tried. Ha, no fabricated. Fabric. I'm sure they'll go away on sorry, own in a it's not days. funny. I'm sorry. The real goal here is to divert my attention away from fashion week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my Which she's so fo she's so much less petty than you say Like so, I would be still can't help I would set the streets on fire. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. There will be no doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public Fair. just has to see it for themselves. Miss Yuri, bad news. What? The police. Oh, for the love of. Can a woman not get a moment of pace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? It's our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during Fashion Week. What? Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Yes, that's what their messenger said. And what about the models we have from the book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? We'll model it. Look at me. Ready? I'll model. <sighs> Is the messenger still here? Uh-oh. No, they've already left. Yeah, I probably ran. So, no Don't call the messenger, means, right? No brooches. No bow ties, things like that? Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread. All the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. But if you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Aloth, you stay and watch the shop. 
I'll go talk to the supplier myself. Yeah, and we can vouch for you too. We'll make sure your supplier knows there's nothing wrong with your clothes. Thank you. In that case, please come with me. This is crazy, y'all. Absolutely insane. I know Miss Tiori has put a lot of work into making Fashion Week a success. I hope you can talk things through with the supplier. Uh, by the way, we really are just going to talk, right? Someone's getting shot. Of oh, course. shit. I wouldn't do anything to one of my business partners, especially when a reasonable conversation should suffice. Oh, okay. Guess we can trigger it from up here. I bet that guy, other guy's about to walk out. Venger, it's Chiori. <sighs> that sigh. Together all these Thank years. you for the hydrate. The least you could do is allow me a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. Who sends messengers in this and day and age? I got cell phones. Never gotten me anywhere. Why hire a messenger? Oh wait, this isn't so real. Just explain things in person. Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steambird, and most days I never even read the others. So, these rumors. The steam. Charlotte is about to get them? hunted no, down, bro. Not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Then what? Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. <sighs> you would think that. But this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. Who is That's this board and has that much money to blow? Damn. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a Look very at this girl. She's just had time. enough. What, what happened here? It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. Oh. The article was goes. even published alongside a photo. And then burped. What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street yesterday. <laughs> okay. oh. Wait, that means... Ugh. Uter again. Here, I've got a copy. See for yourselves. I can't wait to see this. Choria Boutique. Located within our good Court of Fontaine claims to be a clothing store with a unique style, but there's another side to the to this tale for those few who look beneath that facade. Sources in the f Fortress of Meripede say that not a few criminals have boasted of wearing uh, Churia Boutique's clothes. I just felt that the atmosphere in there suited me. Convicted felon Lyle said. <laughs> These words met with wide approval for many of his fellow inmates. Our sources also stated that a prisoner who was recently convicted of a violent of a violent conduct and battery was also openly supported wait, also openly supported Chiori's designs a year ago. I wonder who that is they're talking about. Upon close investigation of Chiori's many suppliers, we discover that there is something more to, to the discovery that criminal's favorites wears. The boutique is in truth comparable to an invisible hand, like a spider's web that connects these evil doers. Our investigations show that the Wegner family supplies the ornaments that adorn her design, and a certain member of this household is a frequent guest at the fortress. But do birds of a feather not flock together? Wait, the Wenger family? That's this guy. But who who's in jail? From whatever. <sighs> Not only that, but many customers have also been subject to rough treatment at Churia. Mr. Valerian had this to say. A real brute, that one. Never mind refusing to tailor my clothes. Why, she seized her scissors and began, began wrecking them. Threw me out the window. A clothing store. More like a thieves' lair, if you ask me. That was the guy from the, um... That was the guy from the, 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 uh... Her trailer. 
probably. <laughs> Doubtless, many of you have wondered why the glass at Cherry Boutique often shatters with a loud crash, leaving a behind a terrifying mess. Mr. Valerian's unfortunate encounter reveals the truth. Just a day before this report was going to print, another such act of brutal battery occurred on the streets. Just imagine, if you would, the scene playing out as depicted in the photo above. Chiori, her countenance terrifying as she grabs her competitor, Mr. Uter, by the scruff making threatening gestures towards him. This incident was ultimately broken up by guards who reached the scene. When we asked criminals why they appreciated this brand, the answer we received was that Choria implies el employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. Perhaps those who purchased clothes from this establishment may following this establishment's philosophy prefer to liquidate those with whom they have disagreements is cherry boutique indeed a place blindly flattered by fashionistas that keeps an exclusive clientele of crooks wow the scenes, the true boutique takes shape. Not a that was a mouthful hope y'all had popcorn because i do but that was crazy relying on its close to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to- I just read all this! I don't know what happened, and I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Well, that's what you're doing right so, now. That photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. Yeah, he was the one who started it, that little- He hired a hit on a little girl. I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon, but it can't be helped now. Ow. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still, I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. But that was so long ago. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Was is that true? I feel like designers just be doing the craziest shit all the time and no one cares. That most of your I could be wrong though. Criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. Hell yeah. No, okay. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people Obviously who they're not. Their crimes after buying your clothes. But with the way this article combines fact with rumor, trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two, especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Supposedly. Are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and Yeah, swear. you're low-key getting dragged too, bro. Like, <laughs> If I were younger... I, like, I would be like, oh yeah, whatever. They dragged me too. Might as well. I like you're a clue. You're a, a part of this association. To lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this, but my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week, and I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve Pussy. to be scorned by all that Hi, negative Austin. publicity. I understand. Let me offer Welcome you back. a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake, let this fashion week go. There's always next year. Don't listen to him. He's old and sad. This to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Fenger. I'll make my own choices. There we go. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? No. Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Yes. Well, fair enough. Then I suppose all there's left to say is best of luck. As for the models, none of them wanted to be implicated. In Don't worry, we can get Farina to model too. Understood. Navia Take will care. do it. Kirara can do it. Oh no, she already laughed. Shabrus can do it. We can do it. <sighs> Chlorin will probably do it if Navia asks. So, um, what should we do now? Find what models, girl. I can no longer use my old designs. How could they do this? They're making things up. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Why aren't we technically a violent criminal? About what's true and what's not. Isn't the traveler? About echoing the loudest voice. Been in jail a couple times. Twice. 
I should have seen right. it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. Why don't we get her to dig up stuff? She was probably looking around all day for Chiori. She's like, where's Chiori? Hey, girl. Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. I'm on pause. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? Oh, girl, we did. You mean that sorry I just read the whole thing. For an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. You too, huh? Whoever oh, she knows it's fake. Must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. <laughs> Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those. Let's claims. go. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. She said no fake news on her watch. Good for her. It's my pleasure. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She's an icon. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera, Monsieur Verite. She made that. That's really cute. Speaking I didn't know that. Chiori, do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Uh, she was just here. Uh, that is so cute. Bro, this popcorn is hitting right now. Where are we going? If you ask me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. Well, good thing no one's asking you with that outfit on. Expect engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. You know what? Yeah, die. And think about that one. Yeah. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? You know. You know what? The owner was plenty fierce, that's for sure. Makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals, I guess. I've got the chills just thinking about it. And you keep those bangs covering up your big ass forehead. Both of you. But yeah. Oh wait. I thought we're supposed to be showing that violent is violence isn't the answer, so maybe I should um <laughs> walk away. Where'd she go? Fast as hell. <laughs> Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense. Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little extreme I mean, sometimes. Yes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Oh, this is all Uter's fault. Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room too if she could. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can uh finish what she started. I think she should kill him once and for all. Only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that too. Never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there then. Craziness, bro. I'm actually, this, I have to say, this is a fun quest. Hey, Laf, we're back. Paimon, pause. Oh, who's this? What the hell? Oh, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Chiori. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? She's a diehard fan. She's loyal and she's not going to return it. I know her. Watch. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to That's help my girl Letitia. Y'all don't y'all don't know Chiori like Letitia does, ah, personally. So you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this. But after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh why? My fiance owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of mora, but we get by. After he proposed. He took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chioria. That's Chiori's so sweet. Clothes. He's she's marrying the right guy. He listens to her. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. 
And then? And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but... It left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't Chiori say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. She assured me that the deposit I paid Aww, would be enough see, for the dress. Aw, see, she's so nice. And that, and that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. She promised that I'd be able to wear a Chihori dress on my wedding hey, day. Up. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room... <gasps> Isn't that bad and, luck? And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. So now she has to change ah, it? What a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction... It was all of the highest quality. Huh. <sighs> I know they wouldn't do this, but I would have loved to have seen this dress like animated on her. That would have been so pretty to see. Would you mind going on the record? Like some cool NPC outfits. Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. An icon! I think it'd go a long way. Popcorn! Your real experience it's almost out though. Powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Ayla! My last piece. Has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, what? We, were. we lost her, bro. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um. Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever. Dog, she I thought they said she was gonna jump. <laughs> I'm sorry. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. Yes, ma'am. All right, sounds good. Let's go. How cool. We'll zoom in just a little bit. I look like a stalker now, don't I? Anyways. There you are, Chiori. Sorry, Aspen, for the spoilers. Uh -huh. uh, how did you know where I... Uh, I hope she's not I sad. Told you, didn't she? she did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Letitia was there. I she love Sunday, little chicken wing dress. boy. So, you He's see, the best. You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. That's a pretty dramatic exit for some fresh air. You want to sit here with me? The view's quite stunning. God, just jump. Do a flip! Don't worry. I'll catch you if you fall. Oh, I'm blushing. Oh, I I'm pregnant. Don't mind if sorry. You. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how does it feel? It is quite peaceful. Is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. Yeah. It's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very strict family. My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. Uh. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, oh. I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. Whoa, Paimon would have never imagined that! But even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, I was as quiet and focused as could be. It was as if I discovered a whole new world within those vibrant, dazzling fabrics. You know the feeling? Uh, sort of. 
Florida. My parents noticed, and they sent me to study under a famous Inazuman tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. You could say I really tried their patience. Can't handle the heat. Get out of the kitchen, kid. I wasn't missing. Not you, her, or not her, them. Often had strange ideas when it came to fashion, ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. On top of that, ugh, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Darcy, shut. To do grunt work. Shut the hell up. Acheron is not an easy skip. Okay. And eventually is an annoying bottom. So. Since we're saying things that are true. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left... I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine. I love you, too. The referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. You just saw Chase. As it's long cool. as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Acheron of is course, not mid. More more time in the industry, Urgh, I'm gonna get angry. I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Oh, you mean Letitia? Oh, Letitia. Yeah. I was saying it wrong. She did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. That's crazy. <sighs> All right. That's enough sightseeing oh. for one day. That may be Don't nauseous. Oh, place. it's rocking. I don't like that. Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back. Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? I do love her. Look for evidence that Uter wrote that article and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. I know where Uter's clothing factory is located. It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Bomb them. Airstrikes. As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too upset. Let me steal this guy's clothes. When did this become an either or situation? Find incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Woo! Uh, but your accessories. Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? She'll make new ones. Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but to tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just can't bear to take even one step back. Yup. <sighs> the sea. Hmm? What did you just say, Chiori? The sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? Come. Let's take a dip, shall we? <laughs> We're going swimming, y'all. Uh, Chiori! Wait, hold up! Oh, we are actually are going swimming, okay. Yeah! Paimon, what do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Oh, I like the echo. Fish. Uh, um, a lumi twelve? Or a pearl, maybe? Oh, coral's 
pretty too. Lovely Lumi Twa. Lovely. Well, now that you hit the move, help me grab some, would you? I'm so good. Boot hill drip. Don't care. Everything looks great. I've also collected a pretty big batch, so we should have enough. Great! So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? He does look cool. Yes, but don't forget. I'm skipping. We've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. Hey. Hey. Wait, Tam, are you still here? Why am I skipping? Oh, because I want Acheron, and then I want okay. We've got the Sunday. materials for the accessories. Next, we'll need to use what we have on hand to create some new outfits. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? There's something on my computer. I should be able to. I'm on it pause. If I skip out on sleep. Oh no! Skipping yeah, but we don't know when Sunday is. It's giving Ganyu. Ganyu? Who's that? A friend Some of ours psycho. who does way too much overtime. Well, anyway, sleep is important. You're not gonna convince Paimon otherwise. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you there. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. <laughs> All this grit and determination. It reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. Woo. What else can we help with? Uh, let me see. I suppose all there's left to do is tear up all the outfits currently on display. Woo! You got it! Uh, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> you heard me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I use the larger pieces for the resourceful base woman and the smaller pieces for accessories. If it worked back then, why not? An environmentalist, she's so we can also so reduce reuse recycle of hers. Accessories in the shop as well. But you worked so hard on all these outfits. And now they're garbage. Bye. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win, even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Yup. Um, yup. Okay then. Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Not violent though, right? <laughs> Just this once though. I think I can make an exception. Do we actually get to go, go like- and tear them up. Think of it as a good way to vent your emotions. I want to do a plunge attack. Wait, hold on. Damn it! Hold on. Never mind. Good job. That should do it. This game won't let me have any fun. Chiori, are you alright? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? You look like little Who cakes. <laughs> Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor. I love Fontaine oh, women. They're so iconic. First cause you see, uh... Uh, huh? Ugh, what is this? A soap opera? I, was I told y'all. That's why I made popcorn. This is a telenovela. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. 
Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to Ooh, what, what kind of cookies? Everyone. I want cookies. You can all just mm. pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna orchestrate some conspiracy. Alright, that's personal to for her too, because her dad got accused falsely. Slander is not permitted on her watch. Of course. Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom tailored here. She looks so. Now, if only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. <laughs> as if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's but she'd make them not boring. In the first place, silly. Freshly baked? Yes. What kind? Like chocolate chip? Without Oatmeal? Your intel has helped us out in the past. Ooh, I haven't had a. Spina? I haven't made cookies in over a year. How sad. agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? If it's not too much trouble. We need models. Can I borrow some skilled oh. hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. This oh, no place problem. is about to look like a sheen factory, bro. I'm about to be know. making clothes like crazy. I knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing, too. Actually, there's something else I'd like to ask of you. Ask Please? away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me pass word to Linny and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. Oh my god, models! I'm done with my interview! Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! Oh! What happened to the boutique? Who did this? Give me names. I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow. Yup. Oh, wait, that's us. No. Nope. <laughs> wait, I'm so excited. This is gonna be like, it's gonna be like the Avengers for a fashion show in Fontaine. What should we do about these clothes everywhere? Need any help? Sort them by the time. I love Navia's first, voice. The way she talks is so iconic. Oh, and... Don't forget to remove any accessories and put them to the side. That sounds pretty straightforward. I'll help too. Woo, let's go girls. Did you make Amanda, by the way, the cookies? Oh, we get to see Lydia and Linda. I, I have to say, I love those two so much. Lenny, Lynette, great, you're both here. Hey friend, ah, my best friends. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. A little late to she that. It's the end of the day. Of our costumes in the past, and even sponsored one of our performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Oh, Yay. perfect! She was the one who sent us. In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Just say the word, and we'll take care of it. Okay, so it's like this. Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I'm glad to hear it. Well then, guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff who Terra's been doing, right? She already said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. So we gonna check out the, the shows in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said like a trial, like a uh... a massacre, a <laughs> two-pronged approach. Oh. Courtesy first, confrontation second. Uh, yeah, something like that. All right. Understood. Then we'll have faith in her decision. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. Yay! Right, we're counting on you! I'm so excited. Okay, then let's also do as Shuri said and meet up with her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, Paimon sure hopes she won't have a hard okay, time Waffles, making how are all you? those new outfits for the show. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's probably gonna be cracked out though. On 15 five hour energies or something crazy. That's not that long. You're here. We've been playing for that long, Chiori, have we? How are the new outfits coming along? Uh, you look kind of tired. 
Just a few steps left now. I've handed the rest over to Alof. I'd say probably like, what, 20 more minutes? It seems like show. it's wrapping up. We're gonna have to do this domain. Wow, cutting it real close. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? And then the Don't last cutscene. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but... Wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like Not this? if they don't catch us, girl. His factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can stop by for a tour. Um. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Yes. Well, when you put it that way. Something like that. Anyway, Uter's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and... Oh my god, it is like Sheen. Volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. Alright! Ooh, it's really creepy. Paimon would never choose to buy anything mm, from a place like that. You make a good point. Let's all be on our guard. Delete TT already? What do you mean? Oh, sh- I should have used a Geo team, bruh. Why did y'all let me not use a Geo team? What's wrong? Can I stream my team? No. I should have used my Ito team. Damn it. Mm, I wasn't using my brain. We're in. There really is nobody here. What's this thing? Welcome, dear visitors. Hi. <laughs> oh, Paimon nearly fell out of the air. What is that thing? A mechanical guide. They usually use a recorded tape to give you a tour of the factory. Oh! Please follow me, dear guests. Okay. Oh, girl, what the hell? First stop on our tour is a look at the gradual evolution of our clothing brand. They got the same shit in the window. After that, we welcome you to peruse our most popular styles. Huh. Otero seems to be doing pretty well for himself, doesn't he? Why would he feel the need to bother you when he could just focus on improving his own brand? He's just big and greedy. This is the studio where our designs are made. Please, take a look around at your leisure. Thanks. Yep, this. We should audit him. These are the fitting rooms. Please use them at your leisure. Huh? There seems to be something in this fitting room. We're about to get jumped. I knew it! Uh, why did the door just close? Hold on tight, Paimon. Uh, why? Why is he moving? Get me out. 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 Skyward! Skyward! Bow your head. Oh my god, we're stuck! It seems to have stopped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did this thing take us? Seems like there's some place deeper inside the factory. Hmm. Oh, I need these. Oh, you just hang out, huh? Hey, girl! She's cute. Are we in the fortress again? Look out, there are guards here! Got him. <laughs> Lend me a hand. Oh, honestly, her damage is not bad. Delicate as silk. Well. Yeah, watcha. Watcha. Oh my god, stop swapping into Oh my god. Do you think this will do damage if it falls on me? Come on. Oh 
Boring. This seems really evil for fashion. This place is filthy. Are the clothes from Uter's shop seriously made here? <sighs> Look over there. Sludge. Ooh, that water looks super nasty. Oh, Paimon can smell the stench from all the way over here. <laughs> and I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter. So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. It probably smell like dookie doo doo ass. He's been using all manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. Should. Should the clothes made here even be worn? Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. That's terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. This way he won't be able to try This is like when they the the, the 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 those TikTok right, influencers got like to tour the Sheen factory. This is what they saw. What? Uh, does it look like there's a path here? Follow me. Let's go up. Wait, what? How do I? How? What the, uh, huh? Oh, she's like a ching. Oh, okay. Making sure there are no hidden chests nearby. Are we gonna fight this someone? This place seems like some kind of warehouse. Ugh, and it stinks too. Huh? Uh, what's going on? Our way in's been blocked. Oof. This is where I'm gonna lock seems Darcy and Mayu when I finally kidnap coming. them. Yes, and that's because I like this quest a lot. It's a lot of fun. Partners, Wait, you're practically at each other's throats. Now you're telling us you used to work together. When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling My designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. We shared the same goal, so we decided to work together. In the beginning. We both wanted to make clothes that would stand out from the crowd and shatter tradition. It's a lot of fun. The kind of clothes that you like it. Heads and leave people the story's not the most, you know, but with it's not that important, but like, received. it's fun. And I'm enjoying every myself. Sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of. Congrats on your Jade Street, by the way. That's and awesome. Ways. For my part, I gambled it all. And devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course, but I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. I don't know the exact details of what happened after that. I got mine on I standard too, actually. I've never gotten one on the weapon banner. He's harassed. I don't pull on the weapon men in that often, though. Huh. He's just jealous of what you've accomplished. A guy like that doesn't deserve your sympathy. Well, let's focus on getting out of here first. Missing the show is as good as letting him win. Uh, there are some control panels over there. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Blow the place up. Oh, that doesn't seem to have done anything. I uh, uh, didn't do anything either. Uh oh, we blew the place up. Oh my God, is it gonna be like an like an escape scene? Like the buildings, like the walls gonna be crumbling down? Unauthorized intruders entering expulsion mode. Silence. Settle down. Bruh! Look 
over there. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Entering expulsion mode. I like this. I'm panicking. Run, run, run. Ooh, Ooh chest. Don't mind if I do. Shit. Oh wait, no, no, oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Y'all saw nothing. Oh shit! Hey, hey, chest, 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 chest. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. Ew, they're making us swim in the sewer water. Probably smells like dookie in here. But someone's poopies are in here. Sorry, it's not my fault. I have a massive skill issue. I just simply have a massive skill issue. Oh my god, do you think this is what our poops feel like? Now, how did I manage to go to the one part that was covered by metal? Like, that's crazy. Oh, we're finally out of that stinky place! Let's take this evidence and get out of here! My poop? My we poop leaving my my large intestine. <laughs> We're finally out of that stinky place. <laughs> Anyways, what she said it. I didn't say oh, it. Those chambers couldn't hold you. I see. What a surprise. Me to my poop. Bunch of evidence and all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not getting away this time, Uter. The evidence on your person, you mean. What makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? And what are you gonna do about it? Oh, he said. More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Oh, like not having poopy this water? Is a legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? Mm, rotten Proving rags. That fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself. That you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work, and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices too, you know. The voices? All, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain ideal. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal, and it's not. Ayaka socks. Hello, welcome. No real. He's obsessed. Well, once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall, they'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time. 
Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? Oops. You weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how Me or Chiori? and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, oh. but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets hmm. dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. <laughs> it's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Well, those eyebrows are so when even Fontaine doesn't like they're have really a place for you anymore. <sighs> like they're not even close to straight. You're right. <laughs> Maybe all those who pursue their dreams they look like um backslashes. But more pitiful. Or I guess just regular are slashes. Who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. You. Oh wow! Whoa! 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 Hey! It's never that serious. That's crazy. Yo, I'm dead. What is going on? <laughs> Bro has that strap on him. Bro has a Glock in his Rari. That's crazy. You go instead. Hmm. <laughs> Fight. A Got a Glock in my Rari. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Stay safe, Gib. Catch up That's with crazy. Trying to leave, are we? Bro, get that. Which... I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <clears throat> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to <laughs> talk tough, he says. I see. No matter what you've been through. She just deflected no a bullet with a purpose. sword, and you're saying she's if talking tough, bro? Friend, like he, I, I wish I could be that kind of delusional. <clears throat> Allow me to show you. The true meaning of the Chioria brand. Wow. I got a Glock in my Rari. Do we not the take a- The Chioria brand represents more oh. than a person or a trademark. It's a way of life. Ah, <gasps> oh, I love this one. Um, what do you call it? Animation style. Fashion Week. Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. <laughs> Dazzling and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. New outfit? Did New Chiori outfit? Let the, the show begin. begin. <gasps> the world may change. Fashion along with it. But Cute! Say, no challenge is too great. Gioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Gioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. <laughs> <gasps> Oh. We both. Only those who do not give up on their dreams are worthy of this brand.
Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is... Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. Eight. Eight. Yup. Eight. Now here's the thing. Give me those skins. Give me those in-game as skins now. Hoyoverse, I'm not playing. You saw what that guy had? I'm like, you think he's strapped? I'll end up on national television, dog. I want those skins. I want them as skins. Uh, how about this? A little more to the left. Like this? Hmm. Perfect. She showcasing his head on a stick up there. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I've watched too much Game of Thrones. Great. Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? Of course. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. She's rebranding. I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well, how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The spin is way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troop could use one of those. Hmm. Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear! An alias, of course. Hmm. How about. Ah, the Hangry Bird. Hangry Bird? <laughs> So, does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? This is going to sound really random, but y'all know when, like, you, you record your friends, or someone's recording your friends, or they're recording you, and then they're like, they don't know when to cut the video? That's how Genshin quests feel sometimes. Like, she just went, <laughs> And then it goes, like, the pauses, you know, it's it's always like, it's like, we could have just cut that, like, just two seconds earlier. You know, do y'all feel that way? Like, that's what I mean when I say Paimon pause. Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. And a bit cramped. Miss Yuri, I'm done. Hi, Panda, how are you? You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the Traveler gathered. We won, y'all, we won. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Ding. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You, you really mean it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something other than a costume? Well, she just wants a fit. She wants to be dressing. Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Ah, I forgot how cute Actually, Kirara is. That reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Oh, it's on an auto. Huh? Um, about that. The about that. Rosula has prepared a special vehicle oh for my you, god. So you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? Wait, the of course. Caption just match up. hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show. Appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization. Using weaponry in public? Hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Um, um, Shivers, we can explain! If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the Special Patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? Ugh, you nearly scared me half to death. <laughs> Since the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had... Would you have approved? No, but she would have looked the other way. No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Oh, well, okay. that I would too. say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the flu of Sandra and the man responsible all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful if you ask me. All right, Fair. I won't argue with you. You can have this one. 
Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll have Ooh. to take a rain check. Aww. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. Oh. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know him well. Thanks again, Shelfress. My pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. Thanks, Queen. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Traveler, Paimon, could you go wait for me at that place with a view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. Oh my god, she's gonna give me an outfit. I know it. I just know it. Oh, Paimon knows where you mean. Sure, no problem. Perfect. Oh, I just tapped out. There. Wow. That was really cute. Like, I truly, I loved that. Very iconic. Very iconic indeed. I think what Manda was saying was right that the writing is better. So now it just seems, you know, like, like I love all the characters because the writing's so much better. Sorry I can hear still you. hear the rain. Oh, it stopped. Oh, we didn't wait long at all. But what did you want to give us that you couldn't share right in front of everyone else? Traveler skin. Here, take this. Oh no, with way it's a real traveler skin. For me? Please. Oh, wow. A brooch! Oh, okay, that's cute. Style Chiria Boutique too. <gasps> wait, Paimon gets one as well? Oh, wait, that's really I cute. For now. After much consideration, I decided to give them to you two. Thanks, Queen. You've been a great help. Even when things were looking bleak, you stayed by my side. There were even times when I felt like I had to fight back and win. Even if it was just to honor the trust that you had in me. Well, mm. we may have helped a little, but Paimon would say you deserve most of the credit. This result... It probably will be a teapot item. Chiori? I know for certain that was not the case. I've chased my dream for so long that I've come to understand something. Apart from conviction and persistence, the thing that matters most is having friends. Who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. Queen. A single person can only do so much. Without all your help, Chioria Boutique could have easily fallen to ruin. Well, Paimon doesn't think it would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. But, um, about the stuff you said at the show, you aren't worried it'll rub some people the wrong way? Well, too bad. Perhaps my words were a little Then it's not for everyone. But they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should we go back and join them at the victory feast? Hell yeah, I'm trying to eat. Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. You know, of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine, I'd say this is the loveliest by far. We did it, y'all. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it was a teapot item, it looks like. Oh, shoot. I was hoping she would still be here so I could get another picture with her. That was very cute. I liked that a lot. You know what it was? It was fun. Uh, it wasn't, you know, too sad. Like, um, Shen Yun's quest. <laughs> um, you know, oh, there's a ladybug in my room still. It, it was fun. I enjoyed playing it. It was silly. I got, you got to see all, it was like, you know, like I said, like the Avengers. It was, it's fun to see everyone, you know? I like it when they this realm is show how all the other characters are connected without making it too much about other characters, you know? Like, some story quests have the problem where they make it too much about, a like, an NPC or just some random character that no one cares about. But I 
hate that normally, so I'm glad that's not the case for this, you know? Thank you guys for so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun. I do love Chiori. She's just as much of a girl boss as I thought she'd be. And I, I, I enjoyed that quest. It was fun. It was silly. It was cool. It makes me wish there were more character skins, but, you know... I'll always watch there are more character skins. I just always want to spend my money on this godforsaken game. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace and love. Bye.